We start today the rain meadows. I'm gonna show you what they've got to offer. So yes, today I am at Rain's Meadows. I've been here once before uh, and I couldn't get a full walk around because they were closing. So today I'm going to show you what these have got to offer. There's actually three routes you can take while out here at Rayton Meadows. There's the one kilometre, which is the dragonfly route, there's the 1.5 kilometre, which is the shrew route, or there's a two kilometre, which is the heron route. So I'm going to walk all three of them. See here you've got nice open area, nice lake for all the wetland birds to be on. Got a little hide down there. We've got the main hide over there, but again you need a key to get in. Now I've got a key to a couple of hides around the country with the Durham Wildlife Trust. Unfortunately I haven't got one for these. It is two pounds to hire for the deer um, or ten pounds to buy the key. I've got no money on it, so I can't do that, but I will be doing that next time. So obviously here we've got two swans 
and do kind of diggies and see through there. And this is one of the many hides what's dotted around in Rayton Meadows. And that's a bit of perfect habitat through there. So if you look there, we've got pink footed goose on the right, surrounded by the Canada geese. Swans in the background, we've got a coot there, we've got an oyster catcher on the bank, that's an oyster catcher there, camera is poor quality, a black headed gull, um, again a little coot over there, quite a lot. As you can see them chasing the gulls off, chasing the oyster catcher off. Chasing that off as well. You come to a section like this where it's straight or off to the left. Now we want, we want to go off to the left, back towards the Rayton Meadows. And the view down here, I'll show you. Full of gauze. That comes out in an absolute beautiful yellow colour. You can see little bits of it there. Imagine in summer how like uh, obviously this shrubbery, all this green, you've got all the gauze on here. It'll look amazing. There you go, you end up back to Rayton Meadows.
This bit now where I'm what uh, this is familiar. I've been here before, this is where I came uh, when I first came here uh, last year in the summer. Um, so I'm on way to Joe's Pond, that's where I went last time. Didn't get to see it off a lot because it was really busy. But this time of the year, nice and quiet. So I should get to see a lot. Um, but the footage that you've just seen before that was a long tail tit, and that's the closest I've ever filmed a long tail tit. So we go left. Or do we go straight on? So I see how I was going to see it until someone come over and what I thought it was there. Um, Joe's Pond, last time I couldn't really get here because it was, it was packed. Um, at the minute, all we've got in there is Coots and Mallards. Uh, the main uh, wetland, what? the main wildfowl over at the other pond. Just got the bobbin chirping away in the background there. Where you at? Oh, there. See if you can see the robin. Ta da! So that there has been the Rain Meadows walk. So if you've enjoyed that, I recommend it to anyone in the area to come. It's free, apart from the donation uh, for the car park, which is recommended at £2.50. Um, again, £2 if you want to hide the key to get in the bird hide. Unfortunately, I couldn't do that because I've got no money on it. Um, but I recommend it to all. So thank you very, thank you very much for watching. Please like, please subscribe, and. Uh, I'll see you on the next uh, wildlife experience.